be making bases. At snare rolls, you know, certain drum patterns and things of that nature. Uh, let's go ahead and move along the list here. Um, next thing we'll talk about is actually I'm going to talk about all three of these in one, right? Because it all is dealing with some of the same things. So they have this new drag and drop workflow. So basically, you can quickly create new tracks and choose one of several instrument plugins. Insert an instrument plugin on a software instrument track. Replace the sound for Alchemy or Quick Sampler. Create sampler zones. Add samples. You know, it's when you're reading it, it doesn't really necessarily make sense. I mean, as much as when you actually see it. So I'm going to show it to you when we talk about these samplers. So there's two new samplers that they created. One, which is their normal sampler, which is basically going to be a replacement to this EXS 24. And um, you can build your own drum kits in this. You can build your own sound banks and different things like that. It's pretty dope. And a quick sampler is where you can pretty much drag, drag and drop and chop up samples quickly um, with a couple clicks of a button. So let's go ahead and we're going to show you the new drag and drop workflows and each sampler all in one uh, little you know excerpt here. So let's talk about the drag and drop, right? So we already have this uh, beat in here, right? Let's say if I wanted to say cut this right here and I want to use just from here to here right let's just say this is a song which it is technically but let's just say this is a song all right so normally if I wanted to like sample this I would have to open up the sampler I would have to you know go in there and you know click several different buttons to load this in here I'll have to export this to audio and then go back onto my computer and you know it was a big crazy process with this new drag and drop feature I can just take this sample right here and I can just go over here to this area this regions area and I can either create uh, using a quick sampler optimized or original or I can drag it in some of these other options here. But we're going to use this quick sampler and we're going to do optimize. Boom. Now, the cool thing about this quick sampler is everything is already, you know, done for you. So you already have the sample chopped up based on the transients of the beat. The cool thing about this is you can chop this up and go over here to the sensitivity. You know, you can chop up. You guys a lot of a lot of fun doing this in here. You can actually come over here and you make it follow the tempo. Hey, what's going on, man? If you would like to learn how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, then I want you to pay attention. All right. I go by Ever J Music. I'm a producer and my music has been licensed to Love and Hip Hop. Real Housewives, Black Ink Crew, Basketball Wise, Married to Medicine, and the list goes on. And in this course, I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make dope music in Logic Pro 10. This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side. I can come over here and make it play in classic mode, which would basically be anything I play on the keyboard, different octaves. Pretty dope, right? I can also one shot it. And basically we can turn this off or on, we can reverse it, 
um, this which is pretty cool before you had to do a whole lot of different things and steps just to reverse something in Logic Pro 10 so this is a dope advancement and that sounds pretty lit turn on this little tempo thing it'll follow the tempo yeah, so that was an overview of the quick sampler. Now let's take a look at the multi sampler here in Logic. If you just go ahead and create a new track, go under instrument and click on the multi sampler, click stereo and create. What we're going to be able to do is see the multi sampler and we have mapping here. If you click there, you're also going to be able to see where you can or even zone. You can see where you can add your own like samples to the different notes. So like if we're in the Apple loop, say, I'm gonna drag something over to one of the notes on the keyboard. Then if I play that note, it's gonna play the sample. And I can actually start building my own kit here if I want it. Yeah, so you could do a whole lot of cool things. I mean, literally every note on the keyboard could be a different sample. Like if I wanted to come over here and like I can make it a one shot, I can reverse the sample. I can make it follow the tempo. You know what I mean? And then we can come over here and actually save everything you have here as a, an actual trap kit soul kit different things like that you know what i mean so it's pretty cool um as far as that new the new samplers i mean it's worth the upgrade just off of those two things alone trust me on that um so we have a couple more things we can cover just the drum synth and this drum machine designer enhancements so the drum synth is pretty dope this is basically where you're going to be able to make your own 808s, kick drums, snares, hi-hats, different things of that nature. So let me gonna just show you what you can do. Bring that to the beginning here. You can click there. And basically when you create a software instrument track, you can come over here under instruments and go to drum synth, which is at the very top. Click on stereo. You know what I mean? And now I can come over here. And then I can change the sound based on these knobs. So like, for instance, if I want this sound to sound shorter or longer, I can use the decay. See how you, that, that 808 can easily be turned into a kick just by turning the decay down or it's a long extended 808. So as you can see, you can change the effect of the sound or how it sounds just by you know messing with the knobs on here. You know, so I mean, you know, you have all these other pre presets and things. I mean, I don't want to overly um, go over this because I'm gonna go over these things again in the course but just give you an overview of what you can do on this. That was the drum synth. Lastly, but not least, you have the drum machine designer, okay? And this is the ideal way to create, organize, and interact with electronic drum kits and drum kit pieces. So if you're anywhere familiar with the drum machine designer, they just basically took it up to another level. You can now use it for electronic drummer tracks, Okay, so you can import those in there. You can also, um, you know, do it from different channel strips. You can um, use this, the patches. Basically, you can pull in samples that you've created um, using the quick sampler or sounds that you created with the drum synth, which is pretty dope. Um, you know, this is a lot you can do with it. Now, honestly, I don't use the drum machine designer. Uh, that much but basically if you wanted to access that and we will still go over this later on in the course you just create a software instrument track and under instruments drum kit designer 
and this is where this is at if you click on this you can actually come over here and tune this you can drag and drop the samples in different things like that it's pretty dope but um those are the different new advancements when it comes to logic pro 10 10.5 I would just definitely give a hand clap to Logic Pro 10 for bringing those advancements. It pretty much leveled the playing field in my personal opinion when it comes to making beats, when it comes to producing music and music production as a whole. Um, you know, especially the sampler and the drag and drop feature. If that was all they did, it would still be worth the money. Um, the, the remix effect, crazy, you know what I'm saying? Especially because you can automate it. You know, other different things like that, man. I mean, I'm just really satisfied with the updates. We'll continue to go over these later in the course. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.